Well, showers have already made their way into the state of Mississippi. If we look at radar right now, we have a line of storms and showers that are making their way into Webster County as well as Calhoun and already starting to make their way into Clay County here. They have not made their way into the Octibaha County area just yet, but they will be arriving within the next 30, to 30 minutes to an hour. So be aware if you have to be outside, expect a few spotty showers to be entering the area and then we do have a line of severe storms that is associated with this. Now, most of the severe activity is in the state of Tennessee as well as Kentucky. And I don't think we're going to be seeing anything very strong today. But still, tornadoes and strong thunderstorms have been associated with this line of storms. So we will keep you updated on throughout the rest of the day and as this cold front continues to move through. But just expect a line of quick showers and thunderstorms to roll through the area and then be a lot nicer after that. Now, our current conditions here in Starkville show a mix of clouds and sun right now, but the temperature has already warmed up to 79 degrees. Very warm out there, very breezy with winds out of the southwest at 21 miles an hour. And then temperatures across the region are cooler where this cold front has already passed. It's 65 in Tunica, 66 in Greenville, but still warm in the eastern and southern portions of our state already seeing right around the 80 degree mark and those temperatures are going to fall then after this cold front moves through. Notice here's the cold front, here's the squall line associated with it. It's going to swing on out to our east into the state of Alabama and then behind the cold front we are going to be seeing lots of pleasant conditions. Again, strong thunderstorms could be associated very heavy rainfall as well as strong winds with this front. But then after we push that out, spring is going to return once again for the beginning of your March. Today, though, early thunderstorms becoming sunny later on in the day, a high of about 82 degrees. But we're going to keep those winds up there out of the south and southwest at 20 to 25 miles an hour. So very breezy. We're going to fall back down to 39 degrees tonight. and We're going to clear those skies out but still keep those winds around 10 to 15, but they're going to be shifted again to the north and the northwest. And then another day, nice day tomorrow, mostly sunny degrees, 65 with plenty of sun to speak of. And then again, spring will return for the rest of your week. Nice Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday with highs reaching into the 70 mark, 71 on Thursday with a low of 42. Those lows are eventually going to warm up to the lower 50s. And then we're going to introduce the next chance of rain for your Friday and Saturday with highs sitting in the mid-60s to even upper 60s, 69 on Friday and 64 on Saturday. So let's get through today with the severe weather and then another great spring-like week on tap. Thank you for logging on. I'm meteorologist Emily McKinney. Vindicative of a tornado because these are debris signatures. This is where the tornado has actually picked up debris from the ground and is in the air right now. And again, this is the most uh, likely track of the tornado, and it's going to be tracking toward Columbus at about 60 miles an hour. So again, if you are in Columbus, you need to take shelter now and stay there for at least the next half hour or so until we tell you, give you further updates. Again, this is the track. It is moving to the northeast about 60 miles an hour. And then we have another storm just to the north, just to the southwest of this one. Again, close to the city of Artesia, just to the south and east of Artesia. And again, this right here, this reflectivity is showing a hook echo right here. This is where the very, very strong winds are. And again, this track is taking to the north and east about 60 miles an hour. Rotation just in the center of Octibaha County as greens are moving toward the radar and reds are moving away. We do have the center of rotation right here. Again, just to the west and south of Starkville, close to the links as well as Walmart and the airport. And it is moving to the northeast around 60 miles an hour. And if we zoom in a little bit on this, we see that it is right heading right along Highway 12. If you happen to be traveling along Highway 12 as well as Highway 82, you need to take precautions, find a safe environment to get to, and wait this storm out because, well, it's another cloudy start to your Monday as we look out over the city of Starkville. Notice we are under overcast conditions. However, I think there are going to be a few peaks of sun today as these clouds try to break up. Fairly nice already, though, 66 degrees, so it's warming up quite nicely. Humidity, though, is building in, and it's feeling a bit muggy out there. The humidity is already at 68%, and those winds are a bit gusty out of the south and southwest at about 10 miles an hour, and I expect those to gust even higher as we head throughout the heating of the day today. Notice temperatures across the region are fairly similar in the upper 60s, 67 up in Tunica, 66 in Columbus Air Force Base, and already 70 down in Meridian, and again, um, Meridian and may be seeing a couple of peaks of sun right now as we head throughout the rest of the morning. 
Notice we have our next weather maker setting up right here in the Ohio Valley. It is bringing um, heavy showers of rain as well as some ice to portions of Indiana and Illinois. Now we're not going to be seeing anything as far as that goes, but I do expect it to bring us a lot more heavy clouds today as well as an isolated or even scattered shower throughout the day today. Definitely not an all-day rain but keep that umbre umbrella handy as you head throughout the rest of your Monday. Now, this week is Severe Weather Awareness Week, according to the National Weather Service, and they are taking precautions to make us have a plan to be prepared, respond, and recover. And Monday is the day for severe thunderstorms, and we're going to be talking about the criteria of what makes a thunderstorm severe. And these are three things, one-inch hail, 58 plus mile per hour winds as well as the presence of tornadoes are going to make those thunderstorms severe. In fact, we do have a setup that is heading um, our way for your day on Thursday. We have a warm and humid sector here in Mississippi as well as Alabama and it's going to be bringing with it chances for heavy rain as well as um, possible severe thunderstorms. So we will keep you updated as we head throughout the rest of the week. But then after that cold front swings on through, it's going to bring us much cooler temperatures. Not back down to the 30s or 40s, but about around the 60 degree mark. So definitely we're going to cool off once again for the middle of your February. Today, though, not seeing anything as far as severe goes, but 72 degrees, all in all, a nice day. Keeping those muggies in here, though, and those winds up around 10 to 15 miles an hour, possibly gusting up around 30 miles an hour. Dro dropping those winds down tonight, 46 for an overnight low. Skies will be clearing and showers ending. And then another great day tomorrow, 60 degrees, lots of sun, just a few high clouds, and not really very many winds to speak of. And then your Campus Connect 5 day forecast showing sun on your Tuesday and Wednesday, a high of 65 for your day on Wednesday. That severe potential will move in here for your Thursday, 74 degrees as a high, lots of heavy rain, so be aware of that. And then drying it out once again for your Friday, a high of about 64 degrees. And then again, ready for that cool off on Saturday with the next chance of rain moving in for your Saturday with a high of about 56 degrees and a low of 37. I hope you have a great day and be severe weather ready. Thanks for logging on.